This patient 56 years old and he has got diabetic gangrene on the right leg and with the result he has exposed tibia and uh, he's an obese patient and you can notice the lumps on the abdomen and thighs there basically a, a case of uh, generalized lipomatosis and uh, anatomical landmarks are really difficult even then i have palpated and marked the anti superalic spine here and i have marked the uh, with the red color uh, i have marked the femoral artery and with the help of vascular doppler here and this is marked as f this is for the three in one or femoral nerve block here i have marked here ft that is fascia iliaca block and a red dot is there and this dot i have marked uh, just by uh, palpating the anterior iliac spine with the help of thumb and index finger of the right hand and see and the point uh, where this my uh, IP joint of the thumb lies and at the same level I have marked the red dot and this is the entry point for the fascia iliaca compartment block so here in this case it is much easier to perform the fascia iliaca compartment block rather than a femoral nerve block because we have to pass through through the in this uh, fatty lump or lipoma to go inside the femoral seat. So I will demonstrate how to perform the facial compartment in such a difficult case. Twenty ml of the solution here, and this contains ten ml of two percent gelocan adrenaline and uh, ten ml zero point five percent bupivacaine here. And I have taken a a twenty gauge needle. And just initially infiltrate the skin. Dada ek sui laga rahe hain. Bas lagi bate, lagi bhi hai. And just infiltrate the skin and and down up to the deep fascia, right? So there should not be any pain. I have taken a 16 gauge needle here, and I will insert at the same point. This is the blunted needle and this, this, this will, you will feel little resistance here, the needle is blunted and now see I am pushing the needle and feeling the one first resistance and first resistance is because of uh, fascia lata. Yes, first pop is there, I have gone deep to fascia lata here now there is another resistance of fascia iliaca compartment so again there is resistance is there it is gone through again pedro yes now I have gone through both the fascia, fascia lata and fascia iliaca and whole of the needle is gone inside because of fat. Just stabilize the tip of this hub of the syringe needle, aspirate and see after aspiration and see there is free flow. Now turn the needle right, aspirate to check if there is any blood, no and then inject the solution. It's very fast. So this is the completion of fascia iliaca compartment block and see the regurgitation of fluid. This indicates the fluid in the compartment and just massage the area. The block is complete. So uh, in this uh, he is 56 years old obese patient and I am giving the the sciatic nerve block from the posterior approach. I have marked the posterior pelvic spine here. This is the greater trochanter. So I have marked the top of the greater trochanter, and we have joined these two lines, posterior pelvic spine and greater trochanter. And I have taken the midpoint here, and from the midpoint, I have taken a red circle about four centimeter down. This entry point can again be conferred by the sacral corner if it's combined with the top of the iliac crust. It just passes through this red circle. So initially, you anesthetize this point with the help of Find the needle and infiltrate the skin here. X sui lagegi dada, bus, and infiltrate the skin here. Uh, this about oh, ten centimeter long needle here, and pass through the same point here. 
is already anesthetized go directly deep down in perpendicular plane deep down in perpendicular plane in all the directions without tilting the needle and in the depth it should strike the strike the bone and I have taken 20 ml of the mixed mixture of anesthetic solution here now this this needle tip is striking the bone here now load the syringe and make sure check if there is any 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 blood in the syringe there is no and then it start injecting always rotate the syringe in so many directions to avoid accidental intravascular injection so there is no blood and the flow is see the, there is no blood in aspirate and there is free flow of the solution without any resistance again rotate the syringe and there is not be any blood here now the block is complete remove the syringe and see is there any regurgitation this regurgitation is there and just massage the area this sciatic block is complete